a RoboWar System 80B MPU sent to me from Sweden, a fellow named Heinrich, I believe, uh, is his name, is a System 80 fan all the way over in Sweden, and this is the first of four boards that were sent to me for repair. This one had a little bit of light corrosion in the reset section, so I scraped the whole section and installed a modern reset generator. But the, the biggest problem with this board was that the 6502 was dead and one of the 6532s was dead also. The one at U5 with the check mark was just fine. The board had also had some prior, uh, I'll call them repair attempts at U2, U3, and um, there were a lot of jumper wires applied to the original daughter card. I took that out and uh, you can see in the picture that I rolled in at the front of this, this is the re-engineered board from Ed at Great Plains Electronics, and it makes the connections between U2 and U3 redundant, so you don't have to repair all those traces if you don't want to. Uh, added NVRAM, if I didn't say that before, and added a slam switch mod here is that loop of wire that the hang tag is on. And I added a 3K pull-up resistor to the back of the T1 or TC1 connector, and that helps, that pulls up the rewrite line. And on some CPUs, that helps a lot. So let's put it into test with my homemade sort of Pinitech tester that I made before Pinitech started selling these. You can see all the lamps are functioning properly. That's the best way to check out lamp function. ADB lamp test is not good. Okay, test mode. I'm going to skip all the audits. It's in lamp test now. We've discussed that. Let's listen or watch for solenoids now. working. Next test is switch matrix test. So I'll use my tester to go through everything in column one, except switch 07, which is the test advanced switch. And now we're in row one. And when I, once I get through all of these, that will verify that all of the switch matrix is operating properly. The dip switch settings are correct. For those of you that can read hexadecimal, it is reading these dip switches correct. Those are read at the beginning of each game start. And now the massively boring Gottlieb ADB display test. Memory test, and the, it'll do the checksum for the PROM1, and that is correct for RoboWar. So this is good to go. Let me power off, back on, and the ball back down to the out hole, and start a game. You'll be able to hear the start of RoboWar. I don't have any credits on the game. Let's put some credits. And let's start some Robo War. Of course, it helps to have the switch matrix connected when you start a game. And I'm not going to be very good at playing one handed. I am going to play some RoboWar. Thanks for sending the board.